Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency, has lost over 28% of its price within the past five days. On Monday alone, the crypto asset dipped by over 15% to record lows comparable to prices in December 2020. Ethereum has also lost over $3,600 from its all-time high. The overall crypto market cap is now at a record low of $877 billion. There has been a lot of confusion in the crypto community, especially with crypto-related firms like Three Arrows Capital and Celsius going belly up within a few hours of the crash. And of course, rumors that the same thing is going to happen to Michael Saylor's microstrategy. Even the second largest cryptocurrency exchange, Coinbase, has reduced the size of its workforce by 18%. That's at least 500 workers getting the can as a result of this brutal carnage. Amidst all the bankruptcy, record lows, layoffs, and overall brutal carnage, anonymous independent Bitcoin analyst Plan B is offering investors a small ray of hope in the form of the 200-week moving average. In a recent string of tweets, Plan B gives his professional opinion about the crash and predicts that we might not go as low as $18,000 which is 70% below Bitcoin's monthly all-time high. This video examines Plan B's tweets, some current market trends, and new developments in the crypto economy. Please watch, like, and share the video. Also, ensure you drop your comments below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more crypto-related videos. Enjoy the video. Let's begin with Plan B's tweet about the crypto asset's monthly all-time high. The tweet reads, Some are waiting for dark blue, but it's possible that we will not have dark blue this time. Dark blue is 70% below the monthly all-time high, which is $18,000. The problem is $18,000 is below the 200-week moving average, which is $22,000. That has never happened before. Or we have dark blue and break 200-week moving average or 200-week moving average holds and no dark blue. The former institutional investor accompanies the tweet with his famous Bitcoin chart showing Bitcoin's realized price, 200-week moving average, and its price against the U.S. dollars. According to the scale on the chart, Bitcoin hits the dark blue region when it is 70% below all-time high. Plan B uses the monthly all-time of October 2021, which is $61,374. 30% of that figure is just above $18,000, which is lower than the 200-week moving average. In each of its major market cycles, Bitcoin usually bottoms out around the 200-week moving average. However, this cycle has proven to be one of those few exceptions when it goes lower like it did in March 2020. Before the bounce, Bitcoin hit a record low of $20,079, over 9% lower than the 200-week moving average, which is just over $22,000. However, it is noteworthy that the bounce that followed sent the crypto asset above $21,000 and closer to the moving average. Bitcoin is still below the 200-week moving average, but the difference is more negligible at $21,680. So Plan B's prediction that we might not hit $18,000 may not be too far off the mark. Plus, $20,000 has proven to be a great natural support for Bitcoin. What do you think? Do you think this reprieve is going to be short-lived and we would eventually hit $18,000 or go even lower to $14,000? Please share your predictions in the comments section below. In another tweet, Plan B gives a blunt suggestion to people who are still searching for bottoms and highs. The reason why you are not buying at this generational opportunity level is the same as the reason why you did not sell at $60,000, greed and fear. Greed because you think that you can time the absolute bottom. Fear because you think it can drop further. Forget about tops and bottoms. Focus on strategy. In his most recent tweet, Plan B also notes that he didn't sell at 60,000 either. The tweet reads, On days like this, I switch off the monitors and go for a run. Yes, I hodled from 69,000 to 22,000. I did not sell a sat because I thought Bitcoin would go to $100,000. But no reason to stare at the screens all day. Best to switch off, do something you like, and come back in a week or so. That is Plan B's strategy for getting by during such moments. What's your strategy? Do you prefer to stay informed all the way, come what may, or stay away for a few days until normalcy returns? And when do you think normalcy will return considering that the U.S. Federal Reserve has announced a 75 basis point interest rate hike, the biggest hike since 1994? Please drop your replies below as well as your thoughts on Plan B's latest prediction for the world's largest cryptocurrency. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Today's episode is sponsored by iTrust Capital, the number one crypto IRA platform in America. We allow you to invest in your favorite cryptocurrencies without worrying about taxes. That's right. iTrust Capital allows you to buy and sell your favorite cryptocurrencies completely tax-free. That means if you invest $10,000 into Cardano and it grows to $100,000, all of your profits are tax-free. Why is it tax-free? 
we took the existing retirement account industry and flipped it on its head. Instead of boring stocks and bonds, you can invest in crypto. How is it secured? Through Coinbase Custody, one of the leading cold storage providers with a $320 million insurance policy to protect against theft, hacks, and loss of funds. Roll over your existing retirement account or even start a new one from scratch. Questions? Schedule a free call with one of our crypto retirement account specialists and they can help you discuss your options. Start your crypto IRA today and retire early only at iTrust Capital. Click the link in the description to open a free account now. Thanks for watching.